All right, welcome to our class with Mr. G. Come on in. All right, so first things first, when we enter the classroom, enter the classroom in a calm, calm manner. We got some calm music playing in the background. Come on in, grab a seat. Now, one of those big basic things about this classroom, this classroom remains cold all year round. The reason it remains cold is for the clay and for ceramic stuff that we're holding in here. Uh, got to keep the room cold so that that stuff works as best as it possibly can. All right, so when you guys come in, you guys are going to have a sketchbook assignment. Your typical sketchbook is going to be something that you're working on for the entire week. Now, as you're working on something for the entire week, I got the sketchbook thing up on the board. I'll go over it at the beginning of the week. You're going to work on it on your own off and on during the course of the week. So in the beginning of each class, you're going to have 10, 15 minutes to get to get it started. Uh, and then, but then you're going to be, you're going to have to work on it on your own at home, after school, whichever. So I can see a progression in your design. Now, what is a sketchbook? Let's talk about that real quick. All right, so the big thing about your sketchbook design is that your design should encompass the entire page of the sketchbook. So you can see in the pictures behind me. So it's not just one sketch on one piece of paper. It is a series of sketches across the entire expanse of a few sheets of paper. It's covering a topic. Um, a book isn't just one chapter. It's several chapters, several different designs, all, all rolled up into one, which gives you uh, an overview of what you're trying to create. Now, this is highly important for the projects that you guys are working working on because it shows a progression on your thought process, how I can see how you came up with that design and how you execute that design throughout the course. Uh, this goes over at least three or four standards. Uh, one is sketchbooks. Uh, two, we're also seeing a manipulation of materials and a manipulation of a concept. So you're telling a story within that concept. One, th one good suggestion for a sketchbook design is doing thumbnail sketches. Thumbnail sketches are like these ones up here where you have smaller versions uh, of that design across that sketch and then you expand upon it. You build it up, you make it look, uh, you add more depth to it. You don't have to do this every single time but you do need to kind of do like one or two um, I don't know, you do need to do like one or two like every single time. That's kind of a given. It's just how things work. You need to do a couple rough drafts, a couple quick sketches to get to that final result. Okay, so over to what you guys need to be bringing in every day. So a sketchbook is a must. Now on the sketchbooks you have a few options. You can use a spiral brown notebook, a composition notebook, or an actual sketch pad. Any of those things are fine by me, but the one thing that I am consistently you must have is some sort of bound paper has to be in something like a spiral bound notebook, a stitch notebook, uh, a three ring binder I'm kind of on the on the fence about just because things fall out of there and I don't want you to misplace and lose things. Also, um, it just becomes a little more problematic. Now, if you want the best solution, I do recommend a spiral bound notebook that's got perforated paper so you can tear it out and we have our art history day so you can turn the art history in very easily to me. But then you have uh, more control on then you can flip it around uh, if you're working on a sketch and you can work on multiple sketches all at one time, which is kind my thing. Now, in addition to that, every day you should have something to draw with every day, be it a pen or a pencil. Either one is fine with me. Me personally, I usually work in pen. I like ink more than I like graphite. It's a personal preference, so it's up to you to take care of that, but that is your two requirements that I need from you every single day. Now, in addition to that, a two pocket folder or other preferred art supplies do come into play every so often, so I will ask you to bring stuff in, but it will be. Um, basic stuff that you already would have access to some I mean the only rare instances um, if uh, sometimes I've asked for like aluminum foil uh, or yarn and you gotta go to Walmart and go pick those up but it's always very inexpensive thing that I'm asking you guys to bring in uh, but those are the basic things that I expect from you every single day now as I said before a couple odder th uh, things that I might ask you guys to bring in is you might want your own pair of scissors if you have a specific pair of scissors that you're done with. sometimes it might be some tissue paper just because I want you guys to go pick out your own colors or yarn because I want you guys to pick out what the color that you like and you might want to work with uh, odder things would be q-tips these would be used for um, uh, surface design or also for uh, ceramics class if I'm if we're doing a, a special thing with glaze a box if we need to cover the box to decorate the box or because it's a set of lights uh, depending on if you want to have a lit project I'll but I'll talk to you guys about that um, per project uh, but last thing that I'm always on the lookout for is some magazines magazines because we use collage and use the colors in them a lot just a couple of things that I might ask you guys to bring in all right, in closing, so when we're closing out class, you're coming over to your workspace, make sure that you have all of your stuff with you. The area is clean as you've left it, and by God, you got a chair? 
push it in, okay? We won't make sure these chairs are pushed in at the end of each class. The classroom should look the same as when you came in. It should be, chairs should be pushed in, the area should be cleaned off. That's what I expect every single day. If you do have a mess on your table, uh, there's sponges in the back, just go wet a sponge, wipe down your space, take the sponge back. It's not a big deal, it's just something I expect you, you guys to do uh, every single day when you guys come to class, it's a, it's a given. All right, quick touch on presentations. All right, so for presentations, you're going to be doing a presentation in here at least once every two weeks. All right, so you have two options on the presentation. Presentation number one is you're going to bring up your work that you've been working on. Now, you're going to bring up some work that you've been working on, such as if you're in my ceremonies class, some piece that you've been uh, you've been creating. Now, when you're talking about this piece, you're not you can bring up your sketchbook. It's a, it's a good thing to have because then we can see your process, how you started, how where you ended up. You have a series of questions that you're going to answer I'll, I'll be facilitating the questions for you so uh, it's about five question questionnaire sometimes it might be a couple more so it might be a little more in depth uh, but just it's it's over the way that you made the work and it's over how you create that work all right so you'll get up in front of the class and you'll tell us about the piece and how you created that piece. It's one, one of our standards that goes over critical thinking as well as critiquing your artwork amongst yourself and as well as your peers so it's one of those things we gotta cover. Now that's option A. Option B, I like a lot more. Option B is is a conversation like we're having now where I'm talking to you, except it is only me and you sitting down. Uh, I got a table up at the front of the room that we're gonna have a seat at and I got my camera. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, videotape the conversation throw it up on YouTube. Now look at this as a multiple thing for you, a, a huge benefit for you. This is a huge benefit for you because this allows you to have a document or a artifact. Now I'm a big fan of using the video because these are going to be published on YouTube and you have instant access to show this to anybody that you want. You can show it to your friends, say, hey, this is what I'm actually making in class. You can also use it as a business tool. You can show this to an employer who might be a little concerned about how you are with people or how that public speaking voice is. And you can use that to your benefit because then you have a professional conversation with somebody that's on a, on a universal platform and you can show it to an employer to then get a better job. And that's the key that I'm always big on. I'm always big on how can you actually use this class in your life? So using this in your life, use it for, for a portfolio, using it for a job resume access point, benefit you in the long run. All right, so let's take a quick minute and talk about group assignments. Don't really do those. I do want you guys to sit in a group because I want you guys to talk and converse with each other and bounce ideas off each other. That's a thing. But as far as the work, the work is all independent work. That's one thing that I'm big on. On, is that the work should be from you only from you um, get some assistance by asking somebody for what they think and their and but have them tell you don't have them do the work for you I'm, I'm, that doesn't work for me at all I'm, I'm very anti that and I usually will probably kick you out because you're not you're trying to disrupt other people working and that's kind of one of those big things okay so let's talk about some basics as far as the result in the dismissal dismissal only happens if you are disruptive to class or your destruction of the property mishandling of use of materials and property within the classroom will automatically get you kind of dismissed Case in point, if we're working on clay, the clay should be working on the board or it's in your hands. If it's being tossed around, you're out. Sorry, that I'm not I'm not gonna tolerate that at all. Um, same thing with any materials that we're using scissors. Um, the way that you're using them, I've told you don't hold them that way. And it's because of safety. I don't want you guys to get hurt, no blood on the floor. Those are it's basic things that I'm that I'm, I care about. I really don't, you know, the Certain things that you guys talk about, I'll tell you change topic. If you can't change topic, then yeah, I gotta kick you out because I've told you what is acceptable and what's not acceptable. Now, electronic devices. This is one of those uh, real gray areas that I really kind of have to say clear cut. This is what you can and what you can't do. Uh, the phone. The phone you can use for research purposes if you've asked me first. You have to say, Mr. G, I'm using, I need to use my phone to look something up for a picture for the project. That's fine. Leave, make sure the phone is out so that the screen is easily visible. If you are on Facebook, Snapchat, Foursquare, Instagram, Messenger, anything that's not doing the research for the piece, you're out. Because if you are not working on school-related stuff, you're out. 
if you are removed because of that instance, you cannot use your own devices anymore for the rest of the term. I'm, I'm strict on that just because those are things that you need to take care of outside of class. You are here to do the work and to learn. I expect that to be done in class. Now, music. Music is a real um, iffy thing because I do, I do think that your own music and your own personal choices help influence the work. I fully believe that. Headphones are a must. I can't hear it. Those are my two big things. Uh, the headphones that you're using with uh, while you're listening to the music, and I'm sitting at a table just, you know, one table over, keep the music low enough to where I don't hear it, okay? And I will tell you if I hear it or not. Uh, if, you, if it's too loud, just turn it down, it's no big deal. But wait until I've given you the instruction to do that and not upon your own accord, okay? Wait until I've told you that this is cool, this is where we're at, then you can do the work. Most of the time, this is pretty much a free to go once we are in work time. Once you guys are coming and you're working on the project and I've given you the instructions for the day. After that, I'm pretty much done. Uh, and I'll come by and I'll check on you, see see how your projects are going, but other than that, you're on your own. All right, so a quick room tour. When you guys come into class, you're gonna have a bunch of papers that are kind of over here on the uh, big board. So if an administrator would come in and say, hey, um, lesson plans over here behind the door, um, class rules, procedures up here. Uh, my rule poster, other rule poster fell down, but I'll put it up for you guys. Um, grading scale, bell schedule, evacuation route. Um, now I gotta go over lockdown procedures too. Uh, the main cabinets where most of the supplies are kept, those things remain locked. I like to keep the locks on things just because I wanna make sure that you guys are you guys are protected and that nobody steals your stuff because we don't wanna get our stuff stolen. All right, so the main section of the room is our workspace area. So the workspace area, you have the black tables over here to work on that is uh, come in, have a seat, but do take care of your workspace, clean up your workspace. Don't just leave things a mess. That's Come on, go, common sense. If you made a mess, clean it up. Don't don't expect somebody to clean it up for you. Mama ain't here. Uh, and then we have our front card up in the front. So if I have paperwork that I'm passing out to you guys, I'll leave it up on the top here. Uh, otherwise, I'll probably put it in the cabinet in uh, in there. All right. So head on heading over here to the back. We got some side cubbies here to where we can store some additional work. Computers so you guys can do research on. Light tables so we can do a tracer on. The pallets here are going to be moved. I'm working on doing a build right now for my ceramics class. Clay area back here. Ceramics is the only ones who have access to this stuff. Please don't come back here and mess around with the clay. Do not touch the clay unless you're in my ceramics class. Uh, it's a one of the things where I don't want a you to get messy and then transferring clay onto something else, and then also I don't just don't want the clay mess with. We have a myriad of five gallon buckets back here for ceramic stuff. So this whole back area is just ceramics. Same thing with the boxes of clay now, back here. Now here we have our library. So if you have a have a idea that you want to come up with, you need some research, uh, come back here first. Grab a book, look in the book. We got several books here. These are all my books. Uh, these are not the schools at all. These this is my personal library collection. I do want you guys to uh, come back and use it because there's a lot of good stuff there. Rulers, rulers over here. Straight edges over here. Circle rounds in case you guys need to trace a circle. Uh, more cabinets, more stuff and stuff for ceramics class. Ceramics class, this is a uh, slab roller which, where we roll out our slabs. I left it here, uh, leave it here now because this is a nice big area so we can walk around easy. <coughs> and then the rest of the area is my space. Stay out of my space, okay? Now, I, I am a functioning artist. I'm a big fan of work, do what you preach, practice what you preach, which is I'm an artist, I work on my own stuff. I want you to see me working on my stuff. So that way it's a communal atmosphere. It's not just a, I'm the teacher, you're the student. This is a working studio. And I'm, I'm a big proponent of that, that you come in, we all work together. Now let's get to the bare bones of this class. This class is built around you coming into work. All right, um, if you came in in hopes that this was gonna be like an easy A or something like that, sorry, this, that is so far from the truth, I'm sorry. Uh, when you come in, you're going to be doing sketchbook assignments, you're going to be doing work assignments, you're gonna be doing presentations. And I want that out there up front because I want you to be aware of what you're getting yourself into. This is a lot of work, but it's a lot of work that A, is not just fun, but it's highly beneficial. It's stuff that you're gonna be using for a long, long time. Practice, procedures, applications of stuff, it's something that it's, 
it's universal. It's stuff that you're going to be use, doing the entire, the for, you're going to be using for the rest of your life. All right, so as to, just to wrap up, just a quick overview one more time of everything that you need to know. The room, black tables are where you guys sit. MySpace, off limits, please stay out of it. Uh, things that you got to bring every day. Sketchbook, something to draw with. Music, make sure you got headphones on. I don't hear it. Do the work, come in expecting to do a lot of work because that's on you. You're here at school just to, to be educated and get that and to get that education in. Everything else, we'll figure it out. Hey class, I hope that you liked that last video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe down there at the bottom. Now I'm gonna get back to uh, doing my thing, which is uh, work on my own stuff. So uh, don't forget to follow me on the web. I got a bunch of places you can find me, such as Pinterest. Or t no, not, not, we're not doing Tumblr. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Group Me, that's a new one for me, and Steam, uh, and my personal favorite, YouTube. Check me out, like and subscribe, see you guys later, next class. Follow, see you later, next class, do your homework. <laughs>